I probably sound like a hippie right now, but I'm just going to accept that. The month of January is over. I cannot believe the first month of the year is already over. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leia, if you didn't already know. I feel like we're very close right now. Let's, let's back this up. I feel like intimate, maybe just a little bit too intimate. So, yes, I think that's better. Okay, so for this month's monthly motivation, since it is the month of February, I thought why not talk about love since it is when Valentine's Day takes place. And I decided since it is also Black History Month, I'm going to talk about a quote by Maya Angelou. So the quote that I'm choosing to use for this month's monthly motivation is try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Now this might not sound like it's about love right up front, but I'm about to show you exactly how it is about love after all. Now besides the fact that rainbows are freaking gorgeous, I don't know about you, but whenever I see a rainbow, I feel compelled to stop whatever it is I'm doing unless I'm like driving or something like that and just take a moment to stare at it because I think they're so pretty. That and hummingbirds, they get me every time. I just have to stop what I'm doing and look at it, but that's all besides the point. If you didn't already know kind of the technology behind rainbows, obviously not machinery technology, but how rainbows are formed, basically all a rainbow is is the reflection and dispersion, among other things, of light through water droplets and all of that creates a rainbow. Now the word dispersion has a very specific definition in this context and like a scientific context pertaining to meteorology, but we're going to use the OG definition of dispersion since I'm pretty sure that was the first use of it before meteorology became a science anyway, and the idea and the concept is more or less the same, or at least for our purposes it is. Dispersion is the act of giving off or outward. It's the result of spreading or distributing through a vessel. So in this case, the rain droplets would be the vessel and the light going through and the rainbow is the dispersion. And it's this phenomenon that leads to those gorgeous rainbows of all pretty colors and just awe-inspiring beauty. Now let's talk about this cloud business. If you just think about someone who's in a cloud or in a funk, their vision is kind of skewed, much in the same way that if your day is too cloudy or if someone's having a cloudy day, figuratively speaking, they're probably not seeing very clearly because they're sad or they're upset about something. They can't see the sun, again, figuratively speaking. And it's likely that there's something going on in their life that's creating that cloud that's raining on their parade. So let's go back to this love thing. So going back to Maya's quote, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. How do you become this beautiful dispersion of color through light into someone's cloudy day? And the answer is, can you guess it? It's the theme of this month, love, that's right. Now I don't know about you guys, but I think the best way that anyone can show their own light to others and to the world is through love. I probably sound like a hippie right now, but I'm just going to accept that. Personally, I think it's so important to show and give love because I believe we all learn from each other and I believe we all should try and set an example for each other. And I know a few people will probably disagree with me on this because for whatever reason it doesn't really matter. But in my defense, you just have to think about how our brains work from the time we were very little. We either learn by seeing and imitating or seeing and avoiding that behavior that we observed at all costs for whatever reason, it looked dangerous, painful. The point is, there is so much that we learn from others and that is why it's so important because we're always learning from others we should always be showing others how we want to be treated and how others should be treated in the world and i know some days it's like really difficult 
you're having a bad day, you're not feeling it, you just want to be in bed, I get it. But as much as possible, as much as you can muster, you should always be showing and giving love to everyone around you because people do pay attention and people do tend to imitate the things that they see over and over again. And that is why I believe we should always act with love because the more we act with love, the more our light shows through and the easier it is for us to be a rainbow in someone's cloud so that if someone must have a cloud over their head for that day for whatever reason and for some reason that cloud must rain on their parade at least that rain will trickle down love i know i'm so cheesy but it's true <laughs> i really do feel this way i'm not just being cheesy for the sake of being cheesy so this month in february i know valentine's day is really tough for some people because they might feel left out for whatever reason Fortunately, I've never had to suffer through that because I've always kind of considered it a day for friendship as well. But I understand the sentiment of not wanting to feel alone. So what I encourage you to do this month, whether you're a fan of Valentine's Day or not, or you're totally indifferent, you really don't care, just try to think of one thing you could do every day in the spirit of love, whether it's for yourself, for self-love, or to someone you know, or to a stranger. It could be something very simple, it doesn't have to be extravagant, just to keep the idea of love in the back of your head. And yeah, I guess that's it. I definitely sound like a hippie after this, but eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> So that's all for today and for this month's monthly motivation. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments below if you're a fan of Valentine's Day or not. Like I said, I love Valentine's Day simply for the love aspect. I don't necessarily relate it to like boyfriend, girlfriend types of activity. So that's just me, but if you hate it, let me know down below and tell me why and if you love it let me know down below and tell me why remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe because i post videos once a week every saturday thank you so much for spending your most valuable resource with me your time i really truly appreciate it with all that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you guys in my next video bye the quote says Oh, it's getting a little preachy. <laughs> Don't want to be too preachy.